There's a controversy in Prince George's County tonight over the decision to reduce full-time staff at some firehouses. Hatzavela breaks down the plan and why some say this is a safety concern if you live in Prince George's County. It's day one of a plan that shifts full-time firefighters away from volunteer stations and into stations where fire department leaders say they are needed. What we're trying to do is to upstaff stations throughout Prince George's County so that we can have adequate staffing on both the engine and ambulance, meaning up to six persons at each station. Seat Pleasant, Branchville, Boulevard Heights, and West Lanham Hills are the four stations chosen because of their proximity to other nearby stations. The fire department says it found, if needed, help could arrive at the all-volunteer stations in seven minutes. The Branchville Volunteer Fire Company is one of the stations affected by this plan. They say from the beginning, those working here have had concerns about it. Yes, it's a tough position to be in. Chief Richard Lazier says they have known about the plan since December. He's concerned over the staffing of the ambulance because with the shrinking all-volunteer staff, it's tough to cover for the full-time firefighters who used to work during the day on weekdays. Nobody wants to be here five days a week and do this every day. We all got lives too. The station is less than a half a mile away from the College Park Station, about three quarters of a mile from the Berwyn Heights Station. They usually get volunteers from University of Maryland, but in the summer, all those students go home. We're not guaranteed we're going to get out every time, but we're going to do the best we can. To help cover today, four guys volunteered after leaving their paid jobs. Olga Escobar lives down the street from the firehouse and is not a big fan of the move. I don't like that. I don't like it. They should stay there. In Prince George's County, Hatsovella, ABC 7 News.